In this video, I will drive to Sardinia, take my brand new future flyboards with me and take them to the water for the first time. Amigos, welcome to this new video blog here on my YouTube channel. I'm currently preparing the trip to Sardinia and I'm getting the van ready. There are still some boards from last year that I will now get out of my van. And then I already have unboxed one of the new dark horses. The boards look insane. It's more about that later in this vlog. First, I have to pack the van and get ready. These are some more boards that I'm gonna take with me. And yeah, what you can see here behind me, what looks like a construction site, this is our new surf shop the long-term followers of course you know it and know that we founded uh, the surf shop wind lounge about three years ago and we just moved into a yeah more than four times bigger office it's completely nuts and to give you some impressions this is how it's currently looking yoki is filling up holes in the wall here we are cleaning up the windows of course this is very far away from how it will finally look all the logistics will move over there this is anton hard, hard working man how is it in the new shop? Uh, it's great. Here we have Christopher. Aloha. Uh, it's a last look at the office before you drive. We will mess this place up so badly. Oh, yes. <laughs> they couldn't be more proud. It's incredible what we have achieved. But more about that when I'm back from Sardinia. Let's go to Sardinia, but unfreeze the windshield first. So apparently 10 hours and 37 minutes to go until we reach the ferry and then nine more hours to go. I'm almost in Austria and it's now snowing. I'm in Italy, not particularly warm, but also not cold. I'm ready for Sardinia. Just arrived on Sardinia, quite tired. Uh, but it looks beautiful. <laughs> Good morning, guys. Some special music from Niels. Welcome. Don't be scared of the knife. It's for unboxing. And uh, yeah, it's beautiful here. Yes, it is. It is. I'm not going to show you the place in this video. This video is just going to be about the unboxing. Yeah, we have all the new future fly boards. I already tested one. Yeah, yeah. I'm I saw. here a couple days earlier than you, so I got to test the 97. So I'm really curious to see what you will say about the new boards. Yeah, yeah from what I heard from <laughs> you, it's the, the best board ever. And I will also link you Niels' videos down below so you can check it out. Today, it's a little bit lighter wind. I really, I, I have been waiting for this day for so long. I know, when I arrived, I, I had to go straight on the water, yeah. so I know that you're feeling now. If you're interested in how we are living here, then you should definitely subscribe to this YouTube channel because I will make a detailed video about yeah, living as a windsurf tourist here. I would say let's start the unboxing. The wind is picking up. So this is how the car is currently looking. There are a few bots missing in here. Um, but we brought the entire Futurefly collection here. First impression, man, it's like even like this, it's super light, the board. I've been waiting forever for this moment. Today I will sail it on the water. And I'm falling into the tree filming this. <laughs> <laughs> it's a shame that, that we are a little bit in a rush here, because normally I take my time for moments like these. Oh boy, are you gonna see it in a moment? Uh, but this is the first time in forever that I'm using a 107 liter slalom board. But I was told that this board is extraordinary good on the water. Okay, it's not perfectly sunny, but... It looks freaking sick. And I can see the, the deck concave already starting here, of course, like on all of the new dark horses. This moment, it, it next to the moment when you actually take it to the water, is such a great feeling. Okay, look at the look at the steepness. The writing, everything is golden. The red, uh, the rest is metallic orange slash red. Yeah. Wow, 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 wow! I can already see that it is the perfect size for me. Can you see that in the camera a little bit, how it looks? What are your first thoughts? Well, they look amazing. We just unboxed the one, 117 on my channel and they both look amazing. I'm just curious now to get out on the water and actually feel how they, how they ride. Yeah, as you can see, guys, there are so many details on this board that we can talk about. I think almost nothing of this board is like the previous version. Now come the foot straps. Okay. 
And one tip for you guys at home, if you're placing the foot straps on your slalom board, then be aware that most PWA sailors put their back foot strap all the way to the back to get the maximum control over their fin. And the front foot strap depends a little bit on your body size and whether you want a little bit more control or you want to have an easier time lifting your board. I personally now put it to the front, but I might also put it back later on. But I would say, let's drive down to the beach and check out the conditions. So we are driving now to the spot of Porto Poyo. As you can see, the weather doesn't look too good. It's gonna be rainy in the afternoon. So apparently you walk down this wooden, wooden bridge and then it doesn't look like it's windy. Oh no. So we will start from here. Honestly, the spot looks freaking amazing. Over there is the, you know, classic Porto Poyo spot where you're in between the two sides. Then the wind is coming from, from all over there. And uh, Yes, you can see it's not too strong and uh, yeah, I think this is going to be a lovely video because we also have a new drone that we will capture some good action with. Let's get the freaking board, especially the board ready. And now it's raining. We got one of the lucky days. <laughs> And I just want to windsurf. I want to windsurf so badly. They are all saying that there's not going to be any wind anymore today. It's just rain, but we will wait here until there is wind. This is actually frustrating, guys. to suck my stomach in and the chest has to go out guys i wish Ready. i really wish <laughs> we could have presented you some some nicer footage of the first test of the board the conditions were really really bad yeah it's the worst it can be on, Con on constant, sardinia constant rain yeah and the wind was going down the whole time <laughs> yeah in the, in the end i actually I, I almost had to walk up the beach because i couldn't go upwind anymore but guys <laughs> ah what happened First impression from the first few runs was that Shit. we hate the boards. We will <laughs> no, never say We already again. said it on Neil's <laughs> channel. It is, it is actually. It doesn't. I, I don't know what, how to say it. How, how did it feel for you? I'll ask you first. Okay, so the story was: I go out and there was really no wind. I was planing with around 14, 15 knots, and there you cannot immediately feel it. I think, but yeah. as soon as the first little gust got in the sail and I went a little bit downwind I just noticed that the board was like accelerating but it was how do I explain this it had a lot of lift but the nose wasn't like flying around uncontrollably yeah. so like you get the lift the board is riding re really freely you get the acceleration but you keep the control and this is what amazed me. I think this this describes it almost perfectly. I, I had the exact same impression. From the first moment on where I was going a little bit faster, 
um, I felt like, oh man, the old board, the nose would have lifted more. Mm -hmm. it, it would have simply sailed a little bit higher, which makes it a little bit di more difficult to control it and gives you less speed in the end. Yeah. And it didn't happen at all. It went faster and faster and faster. And this is also exactly what I was told how it, how it would feel. But um, yeah, it to feel always sounds like marketing, and you don't believe it until you try it. I, I mean, mean probably what we are talking to you guys also feels like I mean, marketing. To, but to be fair, it is marketing, but yeah. it is simply the truth. <laughs> <laughs> also, I used the new fin today, in 39 centimeter, and this felt really nice, especially for the light conditions. 39 is good, and I have a 37 for smaller conditions. Yes, 39 oh. fin. 39. Oh man, I was in the 36. Okay, yeah. this explains why you went up went like crazy. But yeah, guys, this is how it's looking here. It's rainy. There is no wind. I felt like maybe I should put the front front foot strap actually a little bit further to the back. Then uh, yeah, I was actually quite happy with this initial uh, mass base position. The look on the water when you look down is insane because the board is shining. It's like. <laughs> It's hard to describe. And then one thing that I was worried about a little bit is that the concave, you know, could become a problem in the jibe because it goes all the way until here. But actually that's not the case at all. It feels super, super, super nice. But yeah, guys, I think this is enough for the first impression. Of course, during the next days, we will, uh, you know, try and windsurf as much as possible, film as much as possible. I also want to do some speed sailing like Niels did and maybe, you know, go towards 40 knots. If you want to order a board like this, you can check out our online surf shop. The Wind Lounge, it's linked down below in the video description. And aside from that, if you enjoyed the video, you can leave me a thumbs up and subscribe to this YouTube channel because I think the next videos are gonna be freaking sick. Here you see an influencer in his natural habitat. See you the next time, guys. Bye-bye.